I'm gonna start the video off and say this is my own personal experience, but wait before the other nova continues with whatever he's rambling about we have fully remastered the membership program you guys can fully now get sneak peeks into videos and thumbnails and you get a two to three free hour coaching session so go check it out if you're interested and also don't forget it's only ten dollars a month so go ahead and click that join button and also while you're down there go ahead and click that subscribe button and also while you're down there go ahead and click that like button okay so um now that that's over that was a little bit too much excitement nova you gotta calm down a little bit anyways i don't want to see no overloaded comment about how these weapons are trash and don't work for this map or blah 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 but if you're not a red bull chugging buffoon then continue watching because you found the right video i'm gonna start in the map where most players of tabor started their journey in this game and honestly i'm really surprised nobody uses this but it's the sega 12 this thing is an absolute king when it comes to blasting people square in the face with no remorse. I mean, just look at this guy. He was so confused and lost. Uh... Because overall, this thing is terrifying. It doesn't matter if you decide to run FMJ, AP, or even Tracer. The only few instances where I would say having another weapon is better or it can maybe save you but those are times of where you're going up against a 2v1 or even a 3v1 and they're all chatted out. Otherwise, I haven't been in a situation where I had to use another gun or where having another gun would basically affect my chances of survival or basically giving me a higher chance to get out of a certain situation. Now for Island, I think we can all agree any assault rifle or just assault rifles in general are going to be the go-to, but this is mainly due to the range and the angles on this map. So, but being able to shoot 30 to 20 rounds at someone at quick fire rates when you're in a cramped area like Lab 24 or even the police station inside of the prison camp, but don't forget the areas that are really wide open, kind of the spawn between military and blood beach, but it's better to have a gun that can still hit with decent damage and shoot at far range. And also, even just by the boathouse in Lab 24, that's mid to short distance, and assault rifle is going to be your best friend in those type of situations, probably way better than any other gun in my opinion. SMGs, ball well, pretty short, kind of like the... <coughs> six eight uh because the drop off is basically 20 to 30 meters of range basically but also you won't even hit every single shot especially with that <coughs> <coughs> blow dart shape that's good um so ak's m1s and even sks's or even any other assault rifle is most likely your best chance of making it out of island alive okay now on to miest mika now this one is really weird because personally all the fights are kind of outside and kind of mid-range to short range most of the time that i've encountered unless you count the house of scott which is i i count that as close range but this map is strange mainly because you have one short section and then one mid section near that church by the grave site ultimately everything has its place kind of in this map it's kind of weird I don't really like playing on this map. I do sometimes, but the times that I do, I would normally bring like a AK or a bar or a Mosin or just something random because honestly, you never know what you're gonna kinda encounter. But I feel like everything kinda has its place. So I feel like you can't really go wrong with running anything on this map, even a pistol. There's no ideal gun for this map, but when it truly comes down to it, I feel like it all depends on what you're trying to do or how you're trying to play. But I feel like most of the time, most people are just going to run an AR or SMG or just something that can hit mid to long range. Um, ultimately, everything has its place on this map. So I feel like you can't go wrong with any gun you choose on this map. But as time progresses and more maps come out in the future, this is going to do it for this video. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching all my videos to the end. If some of you have, and if you have put down in the comments, I watched to the end, just so I know who watched to the end and who didn't. Also for my next video, I'll be doing something completely new. So let me know if you guys like it in the next video and I'll keep maybe doing it. Who knows? But anyways, have a nice day or night wherever you are. Peace.